Okay, as I mentioned, we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the patrons of the Philippines and the Americas. It was in 1531, just 10 years after Magellan came to our islands, that our Blessed Mother appeared in Tepayac, that's a hill in Mexico, to a man Juan Diego, an Aztec, a native Indian, simple person, unlettered, nobody. And yet Our Lady appeared to him, giving him a mission to build a chapel where she appeared. And so this guy, Juan Diego, goes to the bishop, the place, to relay the request of our Blessed Mother. And the bishop somehow did not totally believe. He said, I want a sign. So, uh, you know, she was appearing, our Blessed Mother, from December 9 to 12, in 1531, in Tepaya. And so, the Juan Diego uh, went back a second time to tell the bishop because that was the request of Arlene, go back to him. And uh, when he went back to him, he was, of course, that was winter time, it's cold. So the Mexicans, they have what you call the tilma. It's an outer covering to keep you warm. And he had it folded. And then uh, when he met the bishop, he just dropped the tilma and roses came down. And uh, inside, of course, was the image of our Blessed Mother inside the tilma. So it was impossible to have roses in December. That's winter. Almost all plants are dead. And so it was a miracle that there were roses in December. And then the bishop witnessed this. And so he got convinced. A chapel, a church later on was built. After 25 years, it was completed in 10 years' time. More than 10 million Indians, natives, were converted. And then from then on, thousands, hundreds of thousands of pilgrims would come every year. So what can we draw from this event? First, God will use simple people, the humble people like Mary, to be channels of his love, channels of his life. Not necessarily famous, not necessarily educated, not necessarily those who have status, so that people would easily listen to them. Here, in this case, a simple man, a native, and unlettered. I'm sure he didn't go to school. I'm sure, like Mary, he had fears in carrying out his mission. Me? going to a bishop telling him about our blessed mother bishop is supposed to be a teacher of the faith and yet he obeyed our blessed mother so in life sometimes we have to have a daring a courageous faith to believe that things will happen and so in the readings that we have for today the book of Revelation reminds us at the end of time, good will triumph. We cry because of what's happening in the world. What will Christmas be for people in Palestine, for people in Gaza? You see the images of Jesus in the rubbles. They get children from the rubbles. How can we find Christmas? And yet, the Lord reminds us that we see Him in people. We see Him in simple events, even in painful events. He can be found there if you have faith. 
if you have faith. So let's pray that we will have a strong faith. God will use you. God will use us, especially this Advent and Christmas season, to make His presence be felt, be visible in hidden ways by our acts of piety, acts of good works, sensitivity to people, reaching out to people, being compassionate. We make God present in simple things and even in hidden ways. We hope that like Juan Diego, like our Blessed Mother, we'll have that courageous faith to bring Jesus to the world, to people whom we visit. In the Gospel, what made the difference in the visit of Mary to her cousin Elizabeth? It was not just her who was visiting her cousin. There was Jesus in her womb. So when we visit people, meet people with Jesus in our hearts, then it makes a big difference. We make Jesus present to them. Amen.